Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Bruch Ma'abam. Agat Yar, Gmar Chesim Matoiva. Before we begin, if you get a chance, listen to the Shabbos Shuvah Drasha, because the subject was Mitzvah Srichas Kavana, and a number of the Shilas that we had while we were learning the Sugya were discussed in the Shabbos Shuvah Drasha. But based on, that, based on it, we're going to have a new Minhag. We'll start off the Shir. We'll bring We'll all have kavana to be kind of the mitzvah of Talmud Torah. Okay, so uh, we're up to Simon Kuf Dalid. So we're in the middle of Sif Hay. Um, in Sif Hay, the Mechaber said, whenever you interrupt in Shemana Esrei, if your Shah Kedai Ligmar is Kula, you have to go back to the beginning. If you are not Shah Kedai Ligmar is Kula, then you go back to the beginning of the Bracha. But if you interrupt in the first three Brachas, then you go back to the beginning, and if in the last three, you go back to Ritzay. Now, the Meshavru explained in Sivkat and Yudches that Tefillah is more Chamer than Kriyashma. By Kriyashma, if you interrupt in a way that it's not Ligmar Es Kula, it's enough to go back to where you're up to. Here, you have to go back to the beginning of the Bracha. Because by delaying, you're Mekalka Lebracha. So in other words, by Krishma, if it's a delay that's not Kedai Ligmar's Kula, you only have to go, you just continue where you're up to. Masha'in Kain by, Masha'in Kain by um, the Shman Esra, you have to at least go back to the beginning of the Bracha. That's where we're up to Sivkatan Yotas, the beginning of the Bracha. Ayin Bechai Adam, Shekasav. But if you didn't go back to the beginning of the bracha, bracha, since you're a the bracha in Rashi Lachsar, you know how to go back. Okay. So Chayadam says, yeah, you should go back to the beginning of the bracha. But if you didn't, once you finished it, you don't have. You're now to go back. The Magen Giborim entirely argues on the Shulchanach. The Kasav and he writes the. Me'ikar Hadin, he writes that Me'ikar Hadin, Im Loisha Ligmar Eskula, if you do not delay to complete the whole Shemana Esrei, like Chash of Hefsek, it's not a Hefsek, and a Chash of Akhlamag and Shabazza, and you just go back where you're up to. He disagrees with the Mechaber. Mechaber says it's more Chamer than Shema. Says the Magin of Gibayim, it's not more Chamer than Shema. Vahad du Kasva Tosus Chazu at Chas Habracha, I Tosus says you go back to the beginning of the Bracha. Mayer Bishal Ligmar Kula. Tosus is talking about if you delay the amount of time it takes to finish the whole thing. Usvir Lei Lahat Tosus, Tosus holds, the Ainaza, Loi Chash of Ainaz Gam Betfila. That this oynus is not considered an oynus even for tefillah. What does he mean? This oynus is not considered an oynus even for tefillah. Meaning, a delay, whatever it may be, just like for Shema, you just go back to where you're up to, so too for Shema Nesai. The Gra, his opinion here is like the Rajba. The Bir Hagra is masked him to the Shita of the Rajba, and it's masked from him in all situations. You only go back only to the place where you're up to. Unless you delay the amount of time it takes to finish the whole thing, and it was caused by an oynes, then you have to go back to the beginning of the tefillah. So it seems like the mechaber is of the opinion that if you're shakidei ligmar kula, you go back to the beginning, even if it wasn't an oynes, Otherwise, you go back to the beginning of the bracha, and the Magna Gibarim disagrees. He says that no, you just go back to wherever you're up to. The Gura holds like the Rajba that even if you were Shah Kedei Ligmar's Kula, you only go back to where you're up to, unless it was also an Aynas. So it sounds like the Mechaber holds 
that even if it wasn't an onus, even if you were shah b'shtika. Now, if you, according to the Mechaber, if you delay in the first three brachas, the chal elu kebracha achas chashiva, the first three brachas are considered like one, lekach afil loy shah, therefore, even if you're not shah, kedei ligmar as kula, chayzel loy shah tuili, go back to the beginning of the Shemana Esrei, oyla retzei, or if you're in the end, you go back to retzei, ufi mashe kasavti b'shem agrava, magin gibayrim, and according to what I wrote in the name of the Gran the Magin Gibayim, who had the Nacha in Tzaglach Zarak lo Isa Makim Shapasak, meaning according to the Gran the Magin Gibayim, even if you delayed in middle of the one of the first three brachos or one of the last three, you just continue wherever you're up to. We don't say you go back to the beginning. Chayzel Rosh, Kasev Achay Adam, Haynu Davka Kishasiim Kvar Habracha. You know when you have to go back to the beginning? If you finish the bracha. Avlam hivsik be'emtsa bracha. If you just delayed in the middle of a bracha, in a chazal tchil sa'isa bracha, you only have to go back to the beginning of the, that bracha. Techol be'emtsa lo'y nikri chazara. Because if you're still in the middle of it, that's not called going back. Ela tikkun lashon. You're just uh, correcting what the error you made. Siv vav. Siv vav. Okay. Hada amrinon im shakide ligmaras kula. This that we said, if you delayed the amount of time it takes to finish the whole thing, bakoyre misharinon. It is subjective. It depends on, on how long it takes you. Some people, it's amazing, they're able to say the Hoshman Esrei in four seconds. They have, their, they have so much kavana that they're able to pack all that kavana into four seconds. Some people, they're not on such a high level. It takes them an hour to say Shemana Esrei. It's hard. They don't have as much kavana. So, im sach batfila. If you talk during the evening, dinyan dinay leinin chazar kedin ha haf sakos ha amurais b'simen zeh. If you talk, then the halacha regarding going back is like all the dinim of interrupting that were said in this simen. Says the mission bro bekoyre. It goes by the reader himself. Nakad Koyre, why is he called a reader? Mishum the din zeh noivem mikriyishma. The din, this din is uh, comes from kriyishma. The sham gam kein dina hachi. There also, this is the din. Kamay shikasav el b'simen samaches if alaf bahaga. Im sach batfila. If he spoke by davening. Um, Let's say you mentioned a event of the day during davening. Let's say Let's say on a random weekday, you said Ritzay uh, or you said Yalavi It's like you talked. So then the halacha would be how much time. How much kavana did you have in this yala v'yavai that was uh, meaningless because it was a regular weekday? If it was the amount of time it took to say the whole thing, it has one din. If it doesn't, if, you, if it was quick, you could just continue up to it. It's, it's just a tefillah. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that during the uh, No, because uh, you're, you're, you're saying Yala V'yavai that it's a random, it's the fifth day of the month. Right, okay, fine. So, that, so those words, but the rest of the people, it's Yala V'yavai, it's Yala V'yavai, you're davening, 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 most Achroinim hold it only as it didn't like talking. We'll see when we get there in Simon Kovches. Batfila. Imsach Batfila. Imsach Bekriyashma. Bechasa. Ayin Lael Bethimen Samachais of Alv Meshabura. If you spoke during Kriyashma, look earlier in Simon Samachai Sif Aleph. What the din is. Um, if somebody spoke by Kriya Shema. The Mishmura says there, if you spoke, even if you spoke to Mezid, even though you did an Isser, you only have to go Lamakam Shapasak, even if you interrupted in the middle of a bracha. Okay. Kedin Ha Hafsakais. 
speaking is like the interruptions. If he had a short conversation, even if it's not enough to finish that bracha, you go to the beginning of the bracha. That's the opinion of the mechaber. If your conversation was long enough to finish the Hoshman, based on what we learned earlier in Sivkatan Tezayin, that remember in Sivkatan Tezayin, the Mishnah said, this is worthwhile to remember, that we go like the Compromise of the Ramah in Simen Samachay by Kriya Shema, that it's only we only go back to the beginning if it was a Shia Machmas Oynas. And what is what is Machmas Oynas? It was an interesting definition. What Machmas Oynas was? What did we say? Mm. I don't see what the Ramah says in Simen Samachay, but the Mishaburah here says, um, some say in our subject, we're talking about a scorpion or a shar, or a robbers, that's also considered oinus. Because, meaning the, the opinion of the Ramah earlier is only considered machmas oinus if the person was not roi or the makoim was not roi. But not if there's an outside circumstance. Oh, I should probably say Samaches then. What was the Ramah's... Um, the hech- the Hechra of the Ramah is that it's only considered Oynes if the Makayim wasn't right or the person wasn't right. Let's say the person, there was Soya on the person or there was Soya in the Makayim, but not an Akrav or a Shar. However, some say that Legabe Shemana Esrei, this would also be considered an Oynes. Um... The Magen Avram's Hechra is that Legabe Tfila, other Oinsim, is considered an Oines because some Rishan hold Tfila, you have to go back even if you're not an Oines at all. So here the Mishnah is saying that based on what we said in Sivkat and Tazayin, this din would only be if you spoke Aidei Oines. For example, Kuan Aidei Anos Felistim, Chai Gavna, Vchanal, Avam Sach, Shaloi Oines. If you just spoke not out of Oynes, Kiyem B'Shkaga, Let's say you made a mistake, for you made an error, Shesav Shua Mutter, or you thought it was Mutter. Afilu Shak Lig Markula, even if you delayed to finish the whole thing, Lachar, this would mean, even if you spoke of Amazed, Enoi Chayzel Roish, Kiyem L'Tchil Sabracha, you only have to go back to the beginning of the Bracha. Dim Sach Bein Bracha Bracha, if you spoke in between Brachas, Afagav the Asa Baza. Even though you did an Isram, there's no way to fix it. There's nothing to go back to. You just finished the davening. If you spoke B'mezid, so I just said if you spoke B'mezid, that's not an Oynes. You just continue wherever you're up to. Some say even a short conversation, you go back to the beginning. And therefore, you just go right where you're up to. Now, why would mazid be worse? L'chara, it's like a knas. If you look in the Bir Halacha, he brings like six lines in that the opinion of the Bach and the Knas Agdo and the Magen Barim, the Oyar Prichadish Chayyan, the Magen Barim, and the Gra. Is that you got to go back to the beginning if you speak Bamezid. So that's a pretty heavy lineup. You want to know what Shul he Davin's in? I, don't, I can't say on, on the air. But um, you want to know when he Davin's? Nah, he's waiting till. Uh, I don't know. Um. 
Chas v'sham. In the whole, nobody, in this vicinity, nobody talks. But... He goes to the Yankee game with Donald Trump. Halavai. Um, now, so again, Legabi the Din of Mazid, uh, going back to the beginning, it's a pretty heavy lineup. You have to go back to the beginning, even with a small conversation. The Bachnas, and the opinions that hold, Loy Shnab and Shagla Mazid, is the opinion of the Shulchan Aruch and the Vushal, and the Grub Arajba. Yeah, and the Grubadim Arajba. Okay. In any event, we'll hold it over here. We'll continue tomorrow. As a Sashem in Sif Zion. Have a good day, everyone. Rachel Atzlacha. Kaltov. I can add, I have a recording at the top. Yeah.